Hardy Weinberg equilibrium here. These equations can be somewhat daunting when uh, given on an exam, and you kind of have a tendency to just like glance over it, um, make a rational decision, and move on. But um, I think I came up with something that's a little bit easy so that you can get maybe 80% of the questions right. Um, so at least you're not completely lost and you can work with it somehow. So in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, the, the equation is P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1. And they've oversimplified this um, so it can read 1 plus 2PQ plus Q squared is equal to around 1. Okay, but what's the common denominator here is 2PQ and Q squared. So obviously you need to know these. And in a question, they're going to give you one or the other. So what are they? 2PQ is the disease prevalence. And Q squared is the carrier frequency. So in a question, they'll give you a certain disease, like let's say sickle cell disease, has a disease prevalence of 1 in 10,000. Let's just say, just for... For, for numerical sake, let's just say it's 1 in 10,000. And you're asked to calculate for the carrier frequency or using the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium or whatnot, what is the carrier frequency of this disease? Well, it comes down to this. They give you, in the vignette, they'll give you this number, and in this number you'll work with it. So at 10,000, step 1, is to do a square root of 10,000. Okay? That should give you 100. Or will give you 100. Then you divide 100 by 2, and that gives you 50. And there you have it. Your carrier frequency for a disease prevalence of 1 in 10,000 is 1 in 50. That's it. It was that simple. Okay. What's the other question they can ask you? They can say that a carrier frequency for a disease X or a disease, sickle cell disease, has a carrier frequency of 1 in 50. What is the prevalence, what is the disease prevalence for this disease, for instance? So let's get this and work backwards. 50 times 2 equals 100. Great. Now, 100 times itself equals 10,000. And there's your disease prevalence. 1 in 10,000. And that's it. Sometimes they will give you uh, numbers that aren't exactly as easy as this, but it can't be much harder than this. Know that these questions are meant to be answered within one minute. So these are, they're meant for you to use simple math. This is as simple as you can get. Just know that you have to square root 100 and divide by 2 to get the carrier frequency. And then you have to multiply by 2 and then multiply it by itself to get the disease prevalence. And you should get your Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium questions right most of the time. Thank you.